Are you feeling in an artistic mood? I am. My name is Kathleen Arilla Johnson, and you're watching me here at Creative Solace Studios. Today we will be working on some collage and some doodling in about five minutes. I'm nearing the end of my tiny art journal in which I've been doing this daily quick art process uh, really a practice to try to shorten up uh, my art process in here and get a different kind of thinking going on in my brain when I work on small bits of art at a time rather than a big project. The five supplies that we will be using today are scrap papers that have already been painted on. They're parts of previous projects that I've already done. They were left over and too pretty to throw away, so I've saved them for a collage. I will be using some trim, any kind of ribbon, trim, braid will do, and I'm going to cut this so it is vertically the size of my paper. Then the doodling part will come into play with some Posca markers. These are, this is a brand new set, so I will have to activate them uh, to get the ink flowing in them. These are the ones in different colors. I'm going to call that supply number, let's see, that's three. Then supply number four is another Posca, but it's in black and it has a finer point. So I'm going to count that as a separate supply. The last supply will be a white gel pen by Uniball Signo that can do some doodling on top of other markers or papers. So whatever supplies you have on hand that are similar to this or a little bit different, you could pause the video and assemble your supplies. I am getting mine ready. I do have some glue and I have a scissors on standby in case I want to cut the scrap papers. Uh, I have two different types of glue. One for the papers, uh, PVA glue, and another one for the ribbon or the trim and E6000. I'm not technically counting those in my supplies. Let's get to it. I will start by quickly collaging some of these fun papers onto the background paper. I don't want to spend too much time planning exactly where these colorful papers are going. I'm just laying them down quickly to get an easy, unplanned, unanalyzed collage going. This will be the background. Some of it will be showing up and some of it will have the doodles on top of it afterwards. torn papers, torn edges, or cut edges, or patterned scissors. It's all good. I'm going a little bit over the edges so that there's that three-dimensional collage effect. When you're just about done, now is the time to start thinking about if you want everything covered. I thought I was going to cover everything, but I'm liking seeing this torn edge and some of those white paper sections showing up. So I'm going to leave some of it not covered. I'm switching over to the E6000 glue for the 
trim. Fabric glue is good as well. Anything more heavy duty, even tacky. Okay, so there is the collage and I'm halfway done with the time that I have set out for me. When you get a new Posca, just prime it so that paint flows down to the tip by pumping it up and down and shaking it. There, it's starting to come down in this red one. Poscas are wonderful paint markers. If you have any painting, paint actual wet paint on your paper, let it dry before going on top of them. Since I didn't use any wet paint today, I am starting right up with them. No particular plan. Just thinking of patterns, colors, doodles, playing, and having fun. I actually thought that these had a bigger tip than they did. That's why I brought out that other black one that I thought was going to be finer tipped, but it turns out they're the same. I guess I didn't look too carefully on the package. And the blue is starting up. So I have switched out my black one. So my black Posca is actually the thicker bullet tipped one to have some variety. I will clear out that timer with the last few seconds so it doesn't make a lot of noise here. Once you start doodling, sometimes it is hard to stop them. <laughs> But I think for a short project, this is where I'm going to stop and let it dry. Then I'll come in and do a little bit with the white to finish it up. We went a little bit over, but that is okay. Our main gist was done in five minutes. I just gave that Posca a minute or so to dry so as not to interfere with the white that I want to put on top of it. White on top of black really adds something that stands out and draws your attention to it. Go along with whatever you think looks pleasing and doodle-ish in your style. Well, this went a little bit farther and a little bit longer than I anticipated, but when you're doodling, if there's more doodles to be had and you're feeling it, go for it. <laughs> that is our uh, five supply art that was in five-ish minutes. <laughs>